Research on fruits and plants in Southeast Asia will be getting a leg up when the region's largest online database is set up as soon as 2027. That's under a new $4.5 million digitalization drive by the Singapore Botanic Gardens. And the public will get a front row seat to the process. Ivy Chalk reports. These cabinets in Singapore Botanic Gardens hold about 800,000 specimens of preserved flora. Some date back as early as more than two centuries ago. They are kept under carefully controlled levels of temperature and humidity to prevent decay. To make digital copies so they're immortalized, staff manually take out specimens one by one, placing them in a special box to take photos. We can just do a capture to ensure that it's really in place. So it's about maybe 10-15 seconds. So if we find that it's out of line, for example, you see the bottom that is cut off, sometimes you tend to uh, you need to see and position it a bit higher. But with a new machine, this process is said to be much faster, taking just 10 months instead of the 10 years otherwise. When complete in 2027 after data transcription, it will be the biggest online database in Southeast Asia. The National Parks Board says this will make data more accessible, especially for scientists abroad. And that's key to speeding up research efforts. We can study shifts in flowering and fruiting patterns and from there we can infer things about the climate change. You know, we can do various biogeographical analysis on how plants are distributed across our region. We can do much better evidence-based conservation decisions, what to protect. Also things connected to the food security, so there is so much more things. And of course with AI now and image recognition, uh, sky is the limit. But it will not just be the science community that's privy to the information. Visitors will be able to get a closer look at the digitalization process through a new viewing gallery. Visitors can witness how fragile press plants are transformed into enduring digital heritage. We are also organizing exhibitions and interactive activities to bring the herbarians' activities and your important work that you're doing closer to the community. The herbarium will also be expanding by 40% to make space for 300,000 more specimens. Anne Parks says this boost in capacity prepares the herbarium for the next 50 years. The Library of Botany and Horticulture will also grow by 40%, with more areas to be made open for public use.